Hey friends, I just thought this would be super fun. I am just about to leave for a three-day workshop opportunity and I wanted to share with you what I usually put in my workshop bag. So let's check it out. Okay, so I've already packed all my bags. I have my suitcases, my costumes. This is my workshop bag. So if you're lucky enough to go to belly dance workshops, they're super fun. They're a great learning opportunity, great place to meet people, but also you are on the dance floor for four to eight hours every day. So I don't know about you, but I am middle aged now. So I need more stuff to help keep me healthy, keep me active, keep me feeling good. So what do I have in here? I got sweatbands, like a headband for my hair. Um, this is a new one um, that I'm bringing this year because I've learned. This is my Theragun, so I have a massage gun that I can use on sore muscles um, in between sessions. So some of these things, again, I've accumulated over time. Um, I have, of course, um, and this is for a belly dance workshop, a couple obligatory hip scarves. So I've got a couple so I can choose. Um, then I have in here some hair clips, things to get the hair out of the face. I tend to sweat a lot, so I definitely need something like that. Um, I, the new this year, I'm working with some jazz sneakers. Um, I used to wear ballet shoes. A lot of belly dancers go barefoot. I was not trained in that style. I've always worn ballet slippers or some kind of footwear. New this year, I'm going with jazz sneakers. Um, it's always good to know what kind of terrain you're working with. A lot of workshops are in a ballroom or community center. So I found if I'm standing on my feet for eight plus hours and dancing, a jazz sneaker is a good fit for me. Uh, I've got some extra socks just in case my feet get sweaty. Again, everything's about the sweat, right? Um, we've got some snacks. So I love trail mix, granola bars, nuts, fruit, um, those kinds of things. Uh, sometimes I also bring like protein shakes, ready-made things like that, um, which I have. And also I do have an enormous water bottle that's actually not in the bag right now, but that is something um, that I always bring. I usually like doing an, a um, sealed water bottle that uh, you can just throw in a bag. Here's a great one. If you want to be a winner and in your <laughs> workshop experience, you want to take notes, I highly recommend it. I bring a notebook to every workshop and I guarantee you it helps me remember combinations and what I liked about a certain teacher. I'm also a humongous fan of video notes. So for video notes, right after a workshop, something I really liked or enjoyed, a combination, a move, I go somewhere in a corner. I've gone to parking lots, I've gone to um, bathrooms, and I record myself <laughs> doing that combination or that move so that I remember it later. Super cool. Um, this is something Dan answers that you should do for yourself. Don't expect your teacher to give you detailed notes. When you go to learn, it's all about you and your learning. So take your own notes. It's super important. Okay, we've got sweat towel. Yep. Um, we've got some headphones in here. I might listen to some of my music uh, for performing. We're going to be performing in the evening. So I like to bring headphones so if I have a break, I can listen to music. And then unfortunately I've been working through some injuries, so I'll be bringing a knee brace to hopefully give my knees a break and be gentle with myself. So that's it, that's what I've got. And then um, my clothes, I already have on, my workout clothes with your sports bra and whatnot. Got my little logo here. Uh, you can always have a little branding. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be great. I've got outfits for each day. I've got outfits for the evening. And as I said, costumes as well. I've got that all packed. Workshops can be really fun, really great, but they're also uh, pretty intense for a lot of people. So definitely I want you to encourage to hydrate, take care of yourself, take breaks if you need to, and then just kind of have fun and absorb all that cool info, friendships, and activities that it can provide. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Off I go. I'm driving three hours to go to an amazing workshop opportunity called KC Rocks, presented by Rahil from Kansas City. So wish me luck. See you later.